prior to the introduction of the roll lock, and before the existence of the comp that shall not be named, there existed a time when Mercy was considered by many to be the most overpowered hero in the game. From casual games and quick play, all the way to the top of the Overwatch League, the Angelic Healer single-handedly dictated the meta of competitive Overwatch. This time in the game's history has gone down as the infamous era of the Moth meta. Mercy was part of the original 21 characters that launched with the game, but she quickly became one of the most iconic heroes in all of Overwatch. This was mostly thanks to her being easily accessible to players of all skill levels and her game-changing ultimate, Resurrect. On launch, Resurrect would bring back all fallen allies in an area around Mercy, meaning that she had the potential to bring back her entire team and turn the tide of any fight. With such a critical skill in her arsenal, Mercy players found themselves playing a very different type of Overwatch. Instead of sticking with her teammates to give healing and damage boosts, Mercy players often found themselves playing hide and seek, waiting in the wings and peeking around corners for the chance to maximize her resurrection potential. If Mercy was ever taken out early on in a team fight, her team would be without resurrection as a form of insurance. Resurrection was essentially a lifeline that completely mitigated the risk of death. Eventually, this style of play got out of control, as it seemed every teamfight had to be won twice, which slowed down the gameplay significantly and made certain game modes feel impossible to win. The Overwatch balance team eventually gave in to the public outcry and changed her ultimate, despite how iconic it was. When patch 1.15 hit the live client in September of 2017, Mercy received a significant overhaul to most of her abilities, becoming one of the first heroes to receive a complete rework. In this patch, Mercy received a new ultimate ability, Valkyrie, which enabled her to fly in any direction, amplified her healing and damage boost, and granted infinite blaster ammo while the ult was active. Of course, Blizzard didn't want to completely do away with her iconic resurrection, and decided to change it to a single target regular ability. This change proved to be the fatal mistake, and the precursor to the birth of the Moth meta. Resurrection was now on a 30 second cooldown, had its range reduced to 5 meters, and Mercy was no longer invulnerable during the ability. While initially this appeared to be a significant nerf, players quickly found a new style of play that proved to be even stronger than the old Resurrection strategy. The best Mercy players prior to the changes never waited for the huge 4 or 5 man Resurrect play. Instead, they used a tactic known as Tempo Resurrecting. This strategy was executed by reviving only two or three teammates mid-fight in order to keep the tempo of the teamfight alive, allowing a team to apply constant pressure or to undo mistakes like picks from an enemy sniper. This concept of tempo resurrections survived even after her rework, as her ultimate instantly reset all of her cooldowns, allowing her to pull off double reses. On top of this, Resurrect only had a 10 second cooldown while Valkyrie was active meaning that you could theoretically get a triple res in one teamfight. The combination of these factors fixed the hide and seek playstyle that Blizzard aimed to remove, but created in its place an overpowered flying healer who was drawn to the light of fallen teammates. Mercy the Moth. Okay, and then you're back oh, again, boy! Thank you! That's Infinite another one? Yeah. resuscitation! That's another oh, res. Oh boy. That's another res, yep. another and, Q. Okay, and give me just one second, and we're back again, boys! <laughs> Once high SR streamers and pros caught on, it didn't take long for the Moth meta to take over every level of play. In the weeks following the patch, data collected by Switchfox showed that the number of teammates resurrected per match was effectively doubled across every single tier of play. This was a shocking statistic, considering that Mercy's lack of invulnerability and her inability to multi-target made going for resurrections extremely risky. But not only did the rework boost the average number of resurrections per game, Mercy's healing stats were also reaching all-time highs. No longer forced to hide during fights, she became the best main healer in the game. At this point, Mercy's play rate was unprecedentedly high, showing up in almost 100% of all games, regardless of tier. A terrifying statistic that marred the reputation of the Overwatch balance team for having allowed these buffs to have gone through in the first place. So the balance team rolled out patch 1.16b which sought to lower Mercy's influence on the game. The patch changed Valkyrie so that it no longer reset Resurrection's cooldown, and nerfed the 10 second cooldown reduction while the ultimate was active. To compensate for these changes, Valkyrie would now add an extra charge to Resurrect, 
which would lower the total number of resurrections possible while making Mercy's gameplay feel more fluid. Mercy also lost a bit of survivability, as Guardian Angel no longer reset when using Resurrect, meaning that Mercy players could no longer fly to a fallen ally, resurrect them, and immediately fly out to safety. While these changes caused a minor dip in her pick rate, the nerfs only lowered her total number of resurrects per game by around 2 at all levels of play. This patch also had no effect on Mercy's overall healing strength, meaning that she remained a core pick for any team comp. It's alright for a hero to be strong, but Mercy's kit at the time took strong to a whole nother level. At the dawn of the inaugural season of the Overwatch League, Snipers, Flankers, and Farah Mercy were tactics used in abundance. But even during the infancy of the league, the one thing that was certain was Mercy's presence in every single game. While it may have been tiring to see so much Mercy in pro play, her dominance prompted many to come up with countermeasures. While the most obvious answer would seem to have been a hit scan to focus her down, it was not as easy as it looked due to her high maneuverability. So in situations where a hitscan could not reliably pick her off, teams would employ alternate strategies, such as having a Winston lunge into the air to soften her with his Tesla cannon so the DPS could finish her off. Other teams would just try and straight up outplay the enemies by having a Farah Mercy duo of their own. Regardless, Mercy had cemented herself as a controversial must pick, and in doing so, dictated what heroes could be played around her and against her. With Mercy dominating the game, it was obvious that something drastic needed to happen, and soon. On January 30th, 2018, five months after her initial rework, Mercy had her wings clipped in patch 1.19.3, which sought to fix the moth meta that had been going on for far too long. The main changes were the removal of Valkyrie's second res charge, putting a channel time on Resurrect, and nerfing Valkyrie's movement speed on Guardian Angel by 50%. On top of all this, they reduced her ult duration by 5 seconds to try and push her play rate even lower. In the weeks that followed, and to the delight of many, Mercy's place at the top of the hero meta and influence on the game had sunk considerably. These changes made it riskier for a Mercy to resurrect an ally as she had to assess the environment first, taking into account the channeling time while also having to choose the most valuable target now that she only had one charge of resurrection. There was an extreme shift in her win rates across various tiers of play as she became more skill dependent for players to find success. And the data reflected this. Mercy's resurrections per game dropped by nearly half at all ranks, most notably in Grandmasters, where it went from 11 per game to just 6. With these changes, it became much easier to counterplay against Mercy, pushing her win rate down by 5 to 6% at higher ranks, while the change in lower tiers of play was less apparent as she was harder to punish by players with lower mechanical skills. Despite all the changes, Mercy was still a decent pick as one of the game's most mobile supports with the most consistent single target healing output. However, Gone were the days of her status as the most popular hero in the game. Despite the long road, Mercy is one of the most balanced and iconic heroes to date, being accessible to players of all skill levels. And while she may not be as mechanically intensive as some other heroes, she does reward players with high game sense as she allows you to keep almost any ally you prioritize alive. The end of the moth meta eventually led to the rise of more supports like Lucio, Moira, and Zenyatta, and gave way to the return of the dive meta, which many consider to be the golden age of Overwatch. Thanks for watching this video. Do you miss the old Mercy Resurrection plays? What things would you change about her kit? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.